Hey, Velvy. Did you come out of hiding? Hi, sweetie. Hello piggy people! So I just finished cleaning out all the cages so everybody is nice and fresh. Aren't you little Reesey Beer? You look so pretty on this fleece. You match it perfectly. I wanted to let you know I am going to do an updated morning routine. That was something that quite a few people asked for. So I'll try to film one soon. I just need it to be a day where I'm off so I don't have to rush before work so it can be a nice morning routine where I take my time so that will be underway I can do more cage cleaning that was something else people asked for so we'll see but morning routine is definitely on my list of things to try to get for you guys so Raisin is doing excellent in the herd now so there's only about two days where I saw a velvet kind of being a bit crusty towards her just kind of doing some chasing to make sure that Raisin was going to listen to her so I definitely think little Ray is the bottom pig now and it seems like Velvet is the boss over Raisin and Reese. Reese and Raisin have their little cute friendship back they're very close piggies to each other usually you can catch them grooming each other or like Raisin cleans Reese's chin when she has tomato seeds so they're back to being very sweet and close to each other which is nice Hucky's probably happy that there's no more drama so he has still been doing a little bit more rumbling than usual but nobody's been causing any trouble maybe he's just making sure that they're still listening and everything's good with pecan she definitely is getting older She's kind of losing a little bit more muscle mass, so it's natural for senior pigs to kind of get a little bit bonier on their hips and their spine. But she's been eating excellent and she's still got her tummy, so she's doing well. I decided tonight that I'm going to start blocking her off in this section because I can plug a heat pad in over here. So I have that really big heat pad that takes up about like a two by two section that I put under here and that's where I'm going to keep her at night so that hopefully the warmth is going to help her arthritis because some mornings she seems a bit stiff because I'm sure at night she doesn't move around as much since she's on her own but it's definitely for the best for her to be on her own at night so that nobody knocks her over because she's definitely not the most steady on her feet at times Hey pretty girl. Velvet went over there so I had a 2x4 liner. That section there is a 2x3. So I decided to let the pigs burrow a bit and flipped over the extra section so Velvet's under there. I know that Huckle's gonna love it because I still catch him every once in a while underneath the mat where I have hay on. So he still likes to burrow. So here are the sisters. It just as cute as ever. I am forever filling up their water bottles. I cannot believe how much water they drink. Annabelle there wastes a lot of water. Her drinking style is really messy. So she's the culprit for draining that bottle. Because she stands off to the side. And I swear half of it goes in her mouth. Half of it goes down her neck. She's very messy. But what can you do? Hi little cutie. You're so pretty. Look at that cute little mousy face. So people were asking what's the difference between Annabelle and Annalise to tell them apart. So first Annabelle is all black and I think her eyes are a little bit more bulgy and her ears are like uppity if that makes sense not flopping down. So she kind of to me looks like a mouse and then Annie over here has the floppy ears. And you'll see she's kind of a mix of a dark brown 
and a tan and then she also has the like the orangish blonde fur you can definitely see from her back end oh we flipped around but yeah she has a lot more color where Annabelle is completely black and then I'd say Angus is kind of a mix of both he has more black but has a couple light spots like his mom oh we purr in no wonder you got yourself in trouble with Annie the other day. I haven't seen her do rumbling for a long time, especially since she's been spayed. So that's probably why she got snapped at. The other video I was saying how she had a little bite on her neck. Oh boy. These are sisters, classic sisters. Let's see what Annie does. Are you going to tell her off? or? Well, she's being pretty patient. Are you just going to ignore her or what? I'm just waiting for her to bite her to tell her to get lost. What's going to happen? Oh, you're really pushing it, yep. Why are you being a bum, Annabelle? Oh, your sister's kind of just ignoring you. Is it just because the camera's on you, Annabelle, that you're trying to be on your best behavior? Oh, well, see? I guess that's good. She's just ignoring her. But I bet you that is how she got the little bite on her neck because probably Annabelle snapped at her. Why are you being a bum? You're not the boss, Annabelle. Why are you being a bum? They remind me very much of Kelvin and Hobbes. So Calvin and Hobbes were boy skinny pigs that were brothers and every single day of their life together they'd be fine and then they'd have moments where they'd chatter at each other and snap at each other and then the next second they'd be snuggling together so seems to be the way with sibling pigs doesn't it? I'm surprised Annie's not doing anything. She's being very very patient. So over here is Angus and Autumn. There's Miss Autumn. Hi, cutie. Earlier I was cleaning the herd's cage and I thought it was thundering outside, but it was just Autumn doing laps, like booming around. It wasn't thunder, it was just thunder thighs, wasn't it? And there's Mr. Angus. Hey, little buddy. Well, you look tired. You have a, your bed over there that you can get cozy in. We can hardly see you. Yeah, so that is that. What are you two girls doing? Yeah, come get some hay so we can stop this nonsense. Is your sister bugging you some days? She seems she's like she's a bit naughty. <laughs> Why, hello. Look at that pretty face. How are you, Tubbies? How are you doing? I love seeing you eating and all nestled in the hay. Oh, look at Ray back here. So Velvet's definitely underneath. And then there's little Ray squashed. She's so cute. And there's Huckmane. Look at that beautiful specimen of a pig. Oh, that's so cute. I love seeing her all snuggled. There's a little beautiful pudding bum. Where are you going, Hucky? Hey, buddy. Alright, guys. I will see you all later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!